Hello, we the Meerkats here. Welcome to another episode of Final Fantasy VI Advance. I like these, uh, these clouds from the past. So, uh, we just, this is going to be a fairly short episode that's actually going to be a fairly short episode. I know I have said this before and I've been wrong. Actually, I don't want to go on for ages about the length of the episode. Uh, to put it simply, we've got a lot of stuff still ahead of us in the game, so I'm just gonna wait. I'm we're just gonna play until we reach the Falcon Continent, basically. I have already played ahead. Um, I already know some of the stuff that's coming up. I would advise you to use those characters who are fairly close to to. Level 25, if you see what I mean. So, level 25 or above. Uh, I won't risk going below level 25 here. I'm not gonna use the lock. So, we'll go with our traditional guys. I might cut out some battles. This is mostly battles, to put it simply. So, these robots can be a little bit of a pain, but they're not actually that bad compared to the boss that's coming up. I'm going to warn you in advance, if you're playing along with this, there is a pretty hard boss coming up, although I will be uh, beating him during this episode, so hopefully you'll get a chance to find out some things about him, how to beat him. Well, oh, might be him, might be it, I'm not sure. For some reason, uh, they cause uh, characters Toe and Edgar and Sabin to have uh, silence status by using an attack called Reverse Thunder. But I don't really understand why it's called Reverse Thunder, because Thunder attacks don't cause silence. So... But they're clearly silent. Have you heard them say anything yet? I'm sorry. Uh, that was terrible. I apologize. Anyway, yes, they're currently unarmed and, uh, yeah, you're gonna want to give them stuff. Now, I'm not a hundred percent certain which is better on boss. Uh, actually, I think it's thunder. I think you need to avoid fire for the boss that's coming up, so... Uh, he's, he's gonna wear golden stuff. I'm not sure we can actually prevent uh, back and side attacks during this battle because this battle has been set up so that you are bound to be attacked from the sides. Uh, sniper eye is something that I think we got in the last episode. Uh, I'm fairly certain it works even if uh, causes even if they cause blind. So. Alright, we'll go for Shiva, because Shiva can learn Cure, and also, uh, he should already know all of those anyway, so... And Sabin, we're gonna give them very strong physical attacks, so Bismarck's probably the best 
one to go for there. Unless I have one that can already do lightning. Actually, I'm going to go for Ramu. I'm pretty certain that lightning attacks work better than fire attacks on the bosses who are coming up. overuse uh, magic, but uh, because magic's going to be useful for the boss that's coming up, but uh, it is useful to cure um, your characters. I really would suggest having them equipment in between uh, attacks, because otherwise during this fight Edgar and Sabin have nothing. It might as well just say you're doomed instead of uh, incorrect bits. Code entered. Because you've you've wasted an attack when you do that. You've wasted a move. That's what it does when you when the blitz attack doesn't work. So. I suppose it's nice for them to wait until you've had your turn to attack them before attacking you again. It's also actually quite nice that we're allowed to uh, heal during uh, this thing. Yeah, you should be able to spot it in a minute. It's a pink coloured thing. And it's not good news. Uh, I guess we can't quite see it yet. I want to get out of the habit of using Fire Blaster because on some bosses it doesn't work. Uh, you, can, you can see the weird pink thing there. Um, coming up. It's not very nice. Sabin's learned Thunder. Excellent. Now would be another good time to heal up. And uh, use an ether as well. Now these things seem to unsort themselves. Uh, the order that they're in. Uh, I think when you buy a new item, it probably does that. Uh, 
Ah, oh, right. I think now we need to walk in order to uh, fix this thing. Make stuff happen. Yeah, this is our last battle, honestly. Oh, well, you're not going to want to use Frozen Phoenix against these bosses. It's possible that it works on Ultros, but I know that it doesn't work on at least one of the three bosses, and I don't want to get into the habit of using it, so... And same thing with Bio Blaster. Typhoon is actually uh, not that effective. Can't do very much. Uh, it does sort of blow you away at the end of the battle, so that causes the battle to end. But that doesn't really hurt you. And I, if you're being sensible, you won't uh, die during this battle. So. Just high potion in them or cure in them. Saving my really strong attacks for what's coming up. I think it's a bit of a show, but to be honest. more physical attacks these bosses okay this thing is quite annoying because some of its attacks are utterly devastating I'll try to explain as we go along But uh, don't let your characters get too badly hurt. I think Fyra works quite well. So yes, this thing is made of three components, and uh, you can target specific components by basically pressing it up and down. I will work quite well on it. And as you can see, we've destroyed one part of it. 
Okay, this is a bit more complicated. Get rid of that wall thing it's just launched. That's my advice. Because that ball thing, if you try to heal yourself, well, if you do any magic against the ball thing, basically if you use any magic at all, rather awkwardly, um, that ball thing will absorb the magic. And what that does is it hurts you. So, when I say it hurts you, I mean that uh, uh, you uh, you can't. Uh, it it. I don't mean it hurts you. Sorry. What I mean is that uh, any magic attacks you do will be absorbed by the ball, and that means not only will they not work, but they will actually heal that thing that's attacking you. So. Right, once that countdown starts, that's a countdown to a really big, powerful attack. So, and unfortunately, it tends to launch the ball, which you can only attack physically. Uh, it tends to launch the ball just before uh, the countdown starts. So, in that way, it's uh, it's trying to it's trying to get you in that way, and. Uh, make sure there's nothing you can do to heal yourself before that happens. So, at this point, use elixirs or whatever you've got that can heal very quickly. Alright, this is a bit now. So, attack bit physically. This is right, it's a good idea to have a lot of licks here. The editing there may have been somewhat awkward, uh, if it was, but I really like the, the death on the ice in there, where it, um, you can see it's sort of black, out, it's a red outline there, that's really cool. I have to say as well, they've been falling for a very, very, very long time, very, very quickly, but yeah, the editing there may have been a bit uh, awkward and messed up, and that's because I was saving a lot. Perhaps I shouldn't, but I did. So that's why it was like that. And they're they're falling their they're falling their way towards the uh, floating continent. Where's is this price? Now once he says just a head, well, let me put it this way. We'll be lucky if we manage to get through the floating continent in just two episodes. And it has some of the most irritating music in the game. It really does. Oh yeah, these guys. Uh, I'm just going to try to wake the uh, shadow. And, uh, stop there. Just using death on these guys. A uh, bad idea, actually. I think flower will work okay. Ah, there we go. You're gonna uh, wanna be healed pretty much a lot between. Um, in this place. Um, 
Now, nah, why is he being on this time? Oh, that's interesting. They they tried to get rid of him as soon as he served his purpose. And uh, what's more, he hasn't been seen since before General Leo died. He hasn't seen Interceptor. Interceptor, uh, Interceptor, so he came to us whilst we were at uh, General Dale's uh, grave. So Shadow hasn't seen us since then. I just want to make sure they're all properly equipped. Let's equip Shadow. Uh, you're going to want the most powerful stuff you've got. At this point, alarm hearing becomes more helpful. Quite a good mixture of things. And it is very useful to have one of the characters who knows how to lead us because death is a very helpful attack here. Okay, I think this has been uh, going on for long enough. Feeling. And I am going to end the episode there, and in the next episode we will be making our way across the floating continent. I will see you next time.